Yo, what's up, Phantom Thieves? I'm back with another video for you. And, uh, you know, with the rumors of the Switch 2 coming out this year, um, it's made me think about the current generation. And before, before I say this, this is my opinion. So if you don't agree, that is completely fine. But this generation feels like a bunch of nothing so far like we've been three years into the ninth gen of consoles and for the most part a lot of the and 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 when i say this i'm talking about first party true exclusives okay first party true exclusives we've seen a lot of remasters remakes and a couple of sequels and that's really it like again i know we have games coming out but for three years into production of of, of these uh ninth gen consoles it really feels like a bunch of nothing like it's so bad that xbox doesn't even warrant having memes to joke about the system there's so many games that are talked about, yet we have no idea when they're coming. The PlayStation has its memes, but I mean, you know, like I said, when Xbox is so down in the dumps that we can't even make memes about it has no games anymore, that has me worried. You know, typically a, a typically a generation will last six to eight years, and we're already. Let's just say these last six years, we're already halfway through the console's life cycle. And it might go to seven, but I, I wanted to make a list for you guys, okay? Th this is just to talk about some of the exclusives, true first-party exclusives that are out. On Xbox, we have Halo Infinite, Redfall, Starfield, Psychonauts 2, Hi-Fi Rush, Grounded. A couple, a couple of good games, some of them hit or miss, but... You know, depending on if you like them, you like them. On PlayStation 5 side, Demon Souls, for Spoken, God of War, Ragnarok, Spider-Man 2, Final Fantasy 16, for now, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, and Returnal. Each of those was about seven games. And again, do not, because I've already said this, don't go in the comments saying, well, there's a lot of third party. I get that. That's what a lot of systems outside of Nintendo truly sell on this third party. But when I see so much console warring going on, when I see, oh, the PlayStation's outselling Xbox and da 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 da, it's not due to the first party. And that's what console, sh to me, to me, that's what console should pride themselves on. And this generation, and I get it, games are taking a lot longer to make, but with the budget you have, I would think that you'd hire more, you know, more people for your for your team because you have more money now. But then again, sometimes that doesn't necessarily make the case because look at how Ghost of Tsushima did, and they didn't have a super large team. But you know, these consoles have been out for three years. They have great third party support, but the first party just seems so lackluster, and I don't want it to get to a point where the PlayStation 6 and the Xbox Z come out and we're just not finally getting, you know, the new Fable or we're just not getting a new Jack and Daxter or a Sly Cooper or something like that. It, the graphics and everything are fine. Like, you barely have little to no load times for games, but... That's truly the most next-gen part. Like, people cannot lie when they say, oh, the graphics are head above, head and shoulders above the Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4 Pro. There is a noticeable difference. But sometimes there's really not. Like, you may look at The Last of Us Part Two, and you may see that Joel, instead of having one speck of dust on his face, he now has three specks of dust on his face. You may see more water fragments of sweat coming off somebody's face. 
these games now are more like interactive movies and not games. And that's where, like me being a Nintendo fan, that's where I am excited for the Switch too because it may not, as far as processing power, as far as the frames, as far as the graphics, they may not be where PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series are, but I know they're going to come out with games. Games for the consumers should be the most important part of our gaming experience. They should be the most important part of our gaming experience. At least to me, just being a pure gamer. Like, I don't have all the numbers and I don't know, like, the business meeting calls and I don't try to act like I know any of that because I don't. But as far as the consumer and the gamer, I know that we're going to get Metroid Prime 4. I know that probably the new uh, Trials of Mana game is going to come on Switch too. I know, we all know that a 3D Mario is going to come out. We know that we'll get some type of Zelda game within the first year or two. But that's the thing. It'll be within the first year or two. This is what made the, the Switch so successful was the games. Because this was a new thing that Nintendo was trying. So we didn't know how the Switch was going to be. But it was the library of not only third party, but their massive library of first party games that really made the Switch successful. And that's what I want to start seeing more of. I love the quick resume because I have an Xbox series and a PlayStation five. I love the quick resume. I love the haptic feedback to a, to a, to an extent when I play call of duty, I'm trash with the haptic feedback. I'll be honest with you, but I love those certain type of things. But then I see myself going back and playing the older games. Cause I feel like there's not enough of the new and we're stuck in a wait for another year or two. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I turned on my Xbox series, right? And I was playing Mass Effect. And I looked through my library and I was like, man, some of these games are cool, but I've already, I've already played these. Or some of the newer games that have come out, I haven't touched because they don't fit, you know, they don't really appeal to me. And same with my PlayStation. I'm typically on Fortnite. And if not, I might play Ghost of Tsushima. I have the PS4 version. I didn't really feel like upgrading. But... You know, then I, I got, I got the majority of my stuff is from PlayStation 4 because there's not enough to warrant. There's too many remakes and remasters. I'm tired of those. And if you like playing them over and over, more power to you. This isn't to bash them, but I do feel like we are in a world of nothing right now when it comes to the new consoles. And that's worrying. And it should be worrying because we've been three years. This is year four. And again, we saw the we saw uh, the Xbox showcase. We saw the state of play yesterday. Now on February sixth, we do have the Final Fantasy coming out. The uh, state of play for that, which I know that game for Final Fantasy fans is going to be amazing. But then what? Then what? What else are we getting? And I know we've gotten trailers for games and stuff, but it just feels like it's taking so long. And like I said, I don't want the PlayStation 6 and the Xbox Z to come out or the Xbox, you know, 1080 to come out or something. And we just start getting games. Third party support, it's fine. But the thing about third party support is we can play them on either console. So that really doesn't matter. Which is why I find it so funny that the console wars nowadays is such a big thing. Both consoles right now don't have a super plethora of stuff. And I get it's only year three, but what I find funny is I don't hear enough people talking about the fact that we don't have more. Both companies are trying to have all these studios and stuff. We need games. And I'm not talking about this from a business standpoint. I'm not the, I'm not the executives and the uh, shareholders and all that. And the stock, I'm not all that. I'm a gamer. I'm the consumer. We need more, especially first party. At that point, if we're not getting more of first party, what is the point of having the systems? Again, this is why I'm so excited for the Switch 2. Because I know that the first party is going to be phenomenal. And if you don't think so, you're fooling yourself. You really are. Go look at the Wii. Go look at the DS. Some of the, you know, some of the best selling consoles of all time. The first party support is what really helped. 
And that's what I need to see from those two systems in the background right there. More support. I don't want to feel like, you know, oh, man. I, I, I don't want to feel like these consoles were a bunch of gimmicks at the end of the day. I don't want to feel like they're gimmicks. I want more. And you guys should, too. If you're gamers, you should want more. And right now, I just don't, I don't feel like we got it. I don't feel like we got it. So, I'm hoping within the next year or two, I know we got Grand Theft Auto. And again, we have plenty of third party. That's not the problem. But I hope we get some, man, Xbox, can we see Perfect Dark, please? Can we see Fable, finally? Can, Sony, can we get another Sly Cooper? Can we get another Jack and Daxter, a new one? I think people would buy those. Look at how Ratchet and Clank did. You mean to tell me if you brought some of those old IPs back that have been dormant for a while? Look at Prince of Persia. Sure, it's only sold, I think they said roughly 300,000 copies, but nobody was talking about this Prince of Persia game like that. And then look. I'm just saying. So y'all, look, in the comments, let me know what you guys think of this whole thing. Let me know what kind of first party games you want to see from Xbox and from PlayStation, all right? Let's have a little conversation. I got to get ready for work, so I'll hit you guys up, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, all right? Y'all take it easy, and here's to more first party in the future.